So Discovery came to us uh, last year. Uh, they were looking at moving studio and they wanted a new, fresh, modern uh, studio with a, a seamless workflow, meaning they could then combine uh, the augmented graphics, the on-screen graphics, uh, all the graphics for the, the many screens in the studio, and using one platform to, to achieve this. It gives us sort of like, uh, really nice possibilities to, to get to where we want to go, which is as much as possible, you know, uh, three-dimensional storytelling. You need to you do air graphics in front, then you have the studio, and then you have the big screens, and they're all useful for the storytelling. So it's good to do um, that the people are all working on the same system, and this stuff works together better than it did before. And then you tell the story in the studio. They had quite a tight uh, schedule for this project. Uh, first of all, they had to be ready for the, the Winter Olympics, so the first Olympics that Discovery was going to cover. And two weeks after that, they had to be ready for the Norwegian Football League, which was uh, one of the main uh, sports they're covering. I'm a big fan of augmented reality. Uh, I like it when we have the, the, you know, the, the starting 11 uh, in the, um, uh, the floor, where you can you know, go from the defense to the midfield to the strikers. I think that's the most cool thing we do, actually, because I like it when it's, uh, it's a bit um, more high-tech than just a normal poster. It's a very powerful tool to have the graphics. You don't have to say that the guy in behind you has 200 uh, league goals or he's 25 years old, because it, sa it says so on the graphics. So that's, uh, it helps us that we can narrow the story more down. I love the space and the possibilities uh, for doing, you know, AR stuff on the on the big floor. Uh, that's my favorite part of the studio, actually. The idea about uh, using a virtual screen in AR is actually to make it look cool, because uh, it gives uh, a lot of dynamics in the studio, and uh, we are using AR for a lot of these things, like screens, tables, uh, statistics and often when we have an analytic uh, part of the show, we are using a lot of the AR to, to show player profiles and statistics and also odds for betting. I like to play with AR graphics a lot, so I, I like to explore the possibilities so we're doing. It helps us do a better show, so uh, a better show probably will uh, attract more viewers. Our ratings has, has improved quite a bit actually. We were doing very good the first six months this, uh, this year, up a lot, which is you know, unheard of in television at the moment. So it's been good.